Many people are still wondering if megalodons are really completely extinct or if a few individuals have survived to this day. While scientists and theorists are guessing, more and more videos and photos are appearing on the internet, which can prove that megalodons are alive and real. In this episode, I'll show you new megalodons that were caught on camera. Let's go. The Mariana Trench Giant Japanese researchers decided to conduct a daring experiment in a bay near the Mariana Trench, the deepest place in the world ocean. They decided to lower a large container of bait onto the ocean floor and just to wait. Scientists were curious to see which animal would be the first to respond to the enticing smell of food. The bait first attracted a pack of deep-sea sharks, but then something happened that left the researchers speechless. Suddenly, the sharks scattered and a giant shark of unbelievable size approached on the screens. It swam up precisely to the prey, ignoring the cameras and equipment at a depth of one and a half kilometers. According to eyewitnesses, the body of the sea goliath was more than 60 meters long. What could it be? Scientists have not found a clear answer. They got only guesses and speculation. Black Demon In Baja Bay, not far from the California coast, for many years now, there's been a mysterious, violent, and extremely aggressive creature that local fishermen have nicknamed the Black Demon. The shark is described as resembling a great white shark but with a black color. According to various sources, the black demon reaches from 12 to 18 meters in length, and that's even bigger than a school bus. Of course, most people believe that the stories about the black demon are just fiction. The most detailed evidence is usually blamed by skeptics on whale sharks, which are known for being larger than great white sharks, reaching a length of 12 meters and weighing several dozens of tons. However, it's very problematic to confuse the black demon with a whale shark because the black demon's aggressive behavior. This behavior is not typical for large whale sharks, which are considered peaceful creatures and feed on plankton. Moreover, juvenile whale sharks can even allow divers to play with them. Is it possible to confuse such a shark with a bloodthirsty black demon? The locals say that it's impossible. The legends about the demon refer to a very ancient and aggressive animal. Could it be Megalodon? Canada Shark In April 2016, a curious video was uploaded on the YouTube channel of a Canadian user. According to the channel's author, it was filmed back in 2014. The guy also claims that he actually encountered a real Megalodon off the coast of Canada. Well, the video does indeed immediately show a huge shark. The shark never appears on the surface, so we can't reliably determine the species. Many of those who watched the video advised the author not to be afraid. A species known as the basking shark could have swam past him. Basking sharks, despite their creepy appearance and enormous size, feed exclusively on plankton. However, basking sharks have not been seen off the coast of British Columbia for a long time. Indirect Evidence In July 2019, a team of researchers from California decided to conduct a unique experiment. The submarine they lowered to the bottom of the ocean had to place a bug on one of the big bottom sharks. However, when the scientists saw which shark approached their bait, they were amazed. It was not a megalodon, but the blunt-nosed six-gill shark already known to scientists. The size of this shark impressed the researchers. Previously, marine biologists denied that the bottom sharks can reach such impressive size. It turns out that those who argue that huge sharks cannot be found at great depths and near the bottom were also wrong weren't they? Does this mean that Megalodon can still live somewhere out there in the darkness? You're not impressed with this indirect evidence? Then stay tuned, because I've saved the best part for later. Soon you'll see a huge fish photographed by a robot, a giant that was shot by satellite, and also learn about one of the most convincing proofs that Megalodon still roams the ocean. Robot and Shark in a recent documentary about megalodons, viewers were presented with this video. It was filmed in the Pacific Ocean during the installation of equipment for an oil platform. Usually, large companies do not spare money and prefer to watch every stage of such works through special deep water cameras. But this time they caught not only robots, see the huge fins? Given the size of the robot and the approximate distance between the camera and the owner of the fins, it turns out that the shark must be at least 10 meters long. Could it be Megalodon? It's possible because these ancient sharks were about 10 to 15 meters long. 
close-up shot. What can be a better proof of the existence of a living creature than a clear and vivid picture of it? Unfortunately, in the age of high technology, such evidence is rarely taken for granted anymore. When this picture, caught by Google Earth, first appeared on the internet, everyone became curious, especially considering that the ancient predator was found near one of the most popular tourist islands in the Bahamas. I think tourists vacationing in the Bahamas should be more careful. Noticed from Space in 2014, several nations received very contradictory and strange readings from their space satellites. If space observers are to be believed, giant living creatures were spotted off the coast of Papua New Guinea. Scientists could not believe their eyes. Judging by the way the mysterious objects were moving, it was obvious that these were living creatures. But their size was so enormous that the credibility of the finds raised doubts. Mysterious giants were similar to sharks in body shape, but at the same time, they were several times bigger. If an adult individual of a great white shark reaches 5 or 6 meters in length, then here we're talking about a body length of over 16 meters. The version with whales also falls away. The creature observed preferred to hide deep underwater, which cetaceans do not do. Megalodon in Brazil This video was taken by an onboard camera of the Brazilian rescue team in November 2012. It's one of the most unobvious and yet convincing evidence of the Megalodon existence in this episode. When the video first appeared on the internet, no one noticed anything suspicious about it. Fascinated by the coordinated work of the rescuers, people hardly looked at the surface of the ocean. They didn't know what they were missing. If you rewind to the beginning of the video and look closely at the top right corner, you can easily notice that there is a huge, dark silhouette moving under the water next to the boat. According to estimates of users who have reviewed this footage many times, the body of the creature must be at least 18 meters long. Could it be the mysterious Megalodon? Dead or Alive in the internet, you can find a lot of information that the official science failed miserably <laughs> and that, in fact, ancient life forms have survived to this day, which scientists do not notice. Some conspiracy-minded authors even claim that ichthyologists hide the truth from us on purpose. For the uninitiated people, the theory of Megalodon survival does not sound so silly. After all, there could, hypothetically, be a predator that, in the course of evolution, learned to behave cautiously and hide somewhere in the depths of the world ocean, periodically surfacing for prey, right? Could it be that real megalodons still roam the world oceans? As far as I'm concerned, we shouldn't completely dismiss this version, no matter how crazy it may sound. At the same time, so far we don't have the most reliable, absolute proof that Megalodons are still alive. That's all guys. Do you believe that Megalodons still exist, or should we forget about them forever? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.